welcome to the 2013 Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the University of Indianapolis. Our next inductee is Dan Welber, Dan. Dan attended Indiana Central College from 1956 to 61, and wrestled and played baseball during his tenure. He lettered twice in baseball and four times in wrestling. In the 1961 baseball season, Dan, did not, Dan not only helped his team win the conference title, but he also led the team in walks and stolen bases. As for his wrestling career, Welber was a two-time NAIA runner-up, team captain, three-time national qualifier, and had a record of 20 and one and became a little state champion. After graduation, Dan went on to teach and coach football, baseball, and softball for 31 years in the Crawfordsville area before retiring. He was inducted into the Indiana Wrestling Coaches Hall of Fame and the Crawfordsville High School Hall of Fame for his outstanding career as both a player and coach. Dan still resides in the Crawfordsville area with his wife, Judy, and not only his children, Debbie, Brad, and Jamie, but also many grandchildren and great-grandchildren in his life. Congratulations to Dan Welver, a 2013 University of Indianapolis Hall of Fame inductee. This doesn't mean anything. Well, it's been a great day. Matt, Janelle, especially, I thank you two for working so closely with us to make this easy for us. I know that some of the names I'm going to mention have already been mentioned today as I go along, but uh, really, you know, there, there's such a list of people. Just mentioned a while ago, you know, how many people it takes to run you clear through an experience like this. And uh, I certainly can't mention all of them, but I'd like to pull out a few of them on my I First of all, I need to say, thanks to my wife, Judy, because uh, the last three years that I was here, um, I don't think I would have been able actually to get through school, let alone participate athletically, without the fact that she went out and went to work and got us through college. So that was really great. By the way, uh, I, I also want to say thanks for an event we had just a few years back uh, I was a member of the original wrestling team here, the first Greyhound wrestling team. I think one of the pictures may have been that much. But, but uh, we met for our 50th anniversary just a few years ago, and that was fantastic. I, I could not believe how many guys actually came back. You know, we're not young. And uh, we all got there. and. Uh, uh, it was just a great day, as has this been. Well, I, I really have to start with a name that everyone here knows. Because when I came in the fall of 56, Angus Nickerson was my counselor. Of course, like all of you that went through those years, you may have been class too. But what a fantastic man. I, I, I know that I would have not have gotten through this institution had it not been for Angus Nickerson. I would also have a chance as a freshman to play a little baseball under him. So he was really the guy that uh, kind of gave me a little pump to get me going. By the way, Bill Bright, I want to mention his name too, just a great uh, man of this uh, school. Um, Bill, after I had actually dropped out of baseball a couple of years, allowed me to come back as a senior, and uh, somehow managed to let me be the starting shortstop that year, and we really had a great season. And three of our pitchers from that bunch are in our Hall of Fame. And uh, so that was, that was a great experience for me too. Well, let's get to wrestling, because that's kind of why I'm here this evening. But, uh, I'll mention a few names here, but I, I want to point out uh, Armstead Johnson over here, a great member of the team that I was with. I was just, you know, a lot of fun to watch him go out there, just win, win, win. And uh, then a wrestling 
a partner of mine, we rolled around and rolled around for the last two years I was here. And I don't know whether all of you know this, but your hospitality room over here was our old wrestling room. That's where we practiced. Right, Cleo? Cleo Moore. And uh, I'll tell you, he was a state champion in high school. And uh, when he came in, it was just after Al Morgan had left. And, you know, I was kind of concerned about workout. And uh, to have him come in and have a workout partner that quality really, really helped me. Well, uh, let me throw out a, a couple more names at you here. Uh, uh, Lou Hurley is a guy that, uh, well, you know, at times Lou Hurley was kind of a team clown, but uh, uh, a really great guy. And uh, I learned a lot from Lou. I hope he learned something from me. Uh, he did officiate a few of the matches while I was coaching. Uh, he did, in fact, that's how I kept up with him because he was a wrestling official and got to be one of the very best in the state of Indiana. As a matter of fact, he uh, officiated the uh, semi-state, um, um, pardon, the semi-match for my uh, youngest son who was wrestling in the state tournament. So uh, we kept up. Well, I, I, I've got to then go to the guy that really, probably more than anybody else is why I'm here, because Al Morgan grabbed me long before wrestling was the start, before we had any call out. And he, he came up to me and he, I heard you wrestled in high school. He said, let's get out there and get working out and get in shape. And so he just beat the tar out of me for about three or four weeks. But I will tell you, Al was not only my wrestling workout partner for a couple of years, but he was really the best coach that I ever had. And I had two coaches here, by the way, that were really good to me, uh, Coach Wallace and Coach Wendell. As a matter of fact, Coach Wendell kind of made me an assistant coach uh, my senior year there. And these guys probably remember us running around my little Volkswagen a little bit, right? That was really neat trip, right? In fact, we had a trip scheduled for maybe a pier that we never made. We got to level in Indiana, and the snow was so deep that we pulled out and pushed a bunch of wrestlers, and we, we can't go any further, we can't get out of here. And we said, Coach, man, we've been cutting weight, we haven't eaten anything, we gotta go get breakfast, we go get breakfast. We left at 8 o'clock here, and we got back from Lebanon at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Long trip. Well, Larry Hanning. Larry, I asked for your advice, and so I'm going to water this down. Finish up here, I'd like to say a thing or two about something that some of you older people know. And uh, Larry said, those young people won't understand that at all. So I'm really watering this down. But we had a thing called the Seamans Association. Essentially what happened there is that uh, as you won your first letter, you became eligible to be initiated in the sea Panthers Club. So, uh, one of the rules was you had to make these paddles. Just, how does a guy want that paddle? That's the way it's got to be. And then, at the end of the year, here they come. I don't care where you work, in the dorm, in the library, wherever, they got you. And they took you over to the old gymnasium, we used to call the barn. I'm watering this down, Larry. They blindfolded you. They changed your wardrobe. They tried to get you to eat things that nobody wanted to eat. They tried to play all kinds of games with you. I was standing there, I guess they thought maybe I was cold, and they decided to put boxing gloves on me. And uh, I get the gloves on, I'm blindfolded. I'm out there in the middle of that gym floor. And this guy says, there's a guy standing right across from you. And when I say go, he's going to start slugging and he's going to knock your block off. He said, you better start swinging. So go. And we're swinging and going at it. And that boxed a little bit when I was young. But uh, man, you're boxing like in the dark. You can't see what you're throwing out there. And we're getting some glancing blows. Finally, we get to a clinch. And I said, man, this is kind of familiar. 
I'm going to make the wrestling contest out of this. And I drop into a double leg takedown, grab the guy, get the right response, and I go, ow. <laughs> yeah. And we, right then we said, we're not doing this anymore. These guys are not going to have more fun at our expense. But we finished that evening by the finale, which is using those paddles that we made, going through that gauntlet line, and uh, everybody getting a, a good whack or two or three, depending on how much respect you had gained. But it certainly la uh, left a lasting impression on me. Literally. But I want to say that this much more has left a lasting impression on me and will hopefully for many years ahead. Thank you all and God bless all of you and God bless the University of Indianapolis.